Hello everyone. I'm so excited today. We have a wonderful 14 year old girl who is uh, really making a difference in the world. She is a Wonder Bag ambassador. Her name is Kiara Savage Schwartz. You don't want to miss this episode, so stick around. Welcome to the Your Mark on the World show with your champion of social good, Devin D. Thorpe. This episode is made possible via the support of our sponsors, including Johnson & Johnson's Caring Crowd. Kiara, welcome to the show. Hi, Devin. Thank you for having me. Well, we are thrilled to have you and grateful that you would make time after school to talk to us today. So uh, tell us about what on earth is a wonder bag? Everyone's wondering. So a wonder bag is a non-electric slow cooker. I actually have one right here. Um, and it saves time, fuel, money, and prevents smoke inhalation. And so over the past three years, I have been working to distribute these to communities in South Africa. So how it works is after you bring your food to a boil, you can remove your pot from its heat source and place it in the Wonder Bag. And then you cinch it up and you leave it to slow cook for up to 12 hours. And um, it will insulate the heat, slow cooking the food. So um, by doing this, you are um, saving the amount of energy needed to cook your food um, by up to 30 to 80 percent. And um, you are also um, conserving your fuel and conserving resources. Wow. So this this has a dramatic effect potentially on the health of women and children because they're not breathing as much smoke and it reduces deforestation, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It has huge effects on personal health um, for increasing nutrition and giving you a healthier diet. And then it also um, has a lot of environmental effects, like you were saying. It saves water, it reduces the amount of fuel you need, which is usually wood, so it decreases deforestation rates. And then it also saves time, so all the hours usually spent gathering fuel and cooking, you can now use to obtain an education or search for money generating job opportunities. Oh, that's great. So how did you find out about Wonder Bags and how did you become a Wonder Bag ambassador? So the Wonder Bag is a South African based company and product. Um, it was produced and first founded by a woman named Sarah Collins. And we got in touch with the company actually by, we were scrolling through um, different posts on Facebook and an ad came up for the Wonder Bag and we clicked on it and we had been searching for a way to um, um, show our gratitude to our partnership communities, which we were going to visit in South Africa the upcoming summer. And so we were looking for project ideas to connect with their communities. And the Wonder Bag popped up on our feed and we communicated with the um, founder and got in touch with the company. And then um, that's how the Wonder Bag got introduced into our lives. Wow. Now, uh, you have been back to Africa to dis deliver more since then. Tell us about that. Yes, so it initially started with an initial bake sale where we raised money to deliver five tester bags to the Click Time Youth Program. Um, and we communicated with the founders of the program to see if they thought that these bags would be beneficial and they said they'd love to test them. And when they gave us the thumbs up and said that they loved them, um, I fundraised to deliver um, 280 more bags to the Clifton Youth Program and then 500 more to Esmeralda Swamy in 2018. And that first delivery of 285 bags was in 2016. Wow, that's great. Now, uh, you have led the fundraising to, to pay for all of these, uh, mostly using bake sales, right? Tell us about that. Yes, so almost all of the fundraising has been through bake sales around my local community, raising awareness and um, spreading the word about my project. And um, we've done one online fundraiser, but it's been a really great way to um, not only raise the money I need to send these wonder bags to our partnership communities, but also um, interact with my Marin community and spread the awareness about my project here. So uh, tell us a little bit about a bake sale. What, what, what goes on at uh, Kiara Savage Schwartz bake sale? 
So I've done them all around Marin at sports events, at schools, um, at grocery stores and stuff like that. And so I always bake three batches of chocolate chip cookies, um, two pans of brownies and two pans of Rice Krispie treats. Those are the top hits that we figured out um, for a bake sale. And um, people will come soon and buy and I'll call out bake sale. And um, once I've got the person there, we do a little um, pitch about what a wonder bag is, a quick demonstration and um, try to get them interested in the bag and really help them understand why, it's, why it would be important to donate to this cause specifically. So how much money have you raised with your bake sales? So over the entire course of the project so far, I've raised over $11,000. Um, it's been really great. About It varies per bake sale, like 300 some and um, 200 others. That's great. Now, how many... Uh, how much does a Wonder Bag cost? So a Wonder Bag, um, we have been buying them for wholesale from the companies to because when you're distributing and donating the bags, they give you for less. So $10 around is the price that we've been purchasing them for, but um, they would normally be around 20, the equivalent of the amount of RAND they cost in South Africa would be $23 about. So we're getting them from less than half. That's great. Now, when um, other people see them here, your friends, and you, I bet you use them from time to time to cook, don't you? And some of your friends, so do you, do you get them sometimes for your friends? Um, we've actually gotten them for our entire family, an extended family for Christmas presents. They're really great tools for our house as well, because what you can do is you can bring your food to um, a warm temperature and then you can leave it in here and go and do all of your other work and you don't need to watch your food cook, which is a huge help. And um, it's not only benefited the lives of our partners in South Africa, but also ours. And it's a lot cheaper than an Instant Pot. Yes, we actually do have an Instant Pot and we use both. You put it in the Instant Pot, then you transfer it to the Wonder Bag, but definitely it's um, just as useful and just as helpful and successful. Well, uh, if someone who's watching wanted to donate to your efforts, is there a way for them to do that online? Yes. Um, if they wanted to learn more about the project um, or get involved, they could contact me and email me at kiara at wonderbag.org. But there's, you could also research the Wonderbag more um, at its nonprofit site, wonderbag.org. Okay. Now, Kiara, um, what are you most proud of having accomplished? I think um, over the course of this project, I've been really proud when I've actually been in the moment distributing the bags to and activating them in the communities. We um, held a wonder feast at Esabata Sweeney Primary School, which was a celebratory and interactive day where um, we activated the wonder bags with a full demonstration and really um, an informative day to um, help people learn how to fully use the bags like to their greatest extent um, and just interacting with the people and um, connecting with everyone around me that day was really special and I was really proud of all the work and time I've put into it um, to see it all come together and culminate in that day and that was really nice. Kiara, what's the most important lesson you've learned over the years you've been uh, a Wonder Bag Ambassador? I think one of the most important lessons I've learned is the process to building a project. It doesn't just all happen super quickly. It takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work and dedication. And it starts small. It starts with um, you having a passion and wanting to connect that um, with a help with a want to help the people around you and the people you love. I know for me, this project started as just um, I want to express my gratitude to these partnership communities who come and visit our school and teach us about their art and their history and their music and their dance. And um, uh, as we were going to visit their communities in the summer, we wanted to find a way to thank them. And um, over the course of this project, it has really grown. And um, 
I think that that lesson that you just start small and put hard work and time into something and it will grow, that was a really important thing. Kara, when you went to South Africa, you were just 11 years old and you saw these wonder bags and I'm sure you thought they were really cool. I appreciate that you thought they would be really helpful to other people. But it's remarkable that you felt like it was somehow your job to make this into something, to become an ambassador. Um, I suspect you don't get paid for doing this. Why did you feel responsible to do this? Well, I think since the beginning, it was just a drive to, um, as I was saying, give back to these communities who give us so much. But then as I learned more about the Wonder Bag, I learned about all of its uses and how helpful of a tool it can be, how it can really change lives. The Wonder Bag is not only saving the environment and increasing individuals' health, but it's also um, opening opportunities for women and girls um, to obtain educations and then search for better job opportunities. And with ec this economic freedom comes um, just more choice and more educational choice because once you have the ability and have obtained an education, you ha can have the skills and the confidence and the um, information you need to be an active citizen in our world. And I think as I learned about all the good that these Wonder Bags are doing, I really wanted to help in some way and be able to spread it. It's really just been about um, helping girls and women around the world and trying to make the world a more equitable place. I think one of my superpowers is just the ability to connect with the people around me and the ability to want to get involved and spread the love and um, the warm positive change that's being created here. Um, I think hard work and determination is also a really strong superpower and the drive to keep expanding this project and make it the best that it can be. Yeah, well, that's great. You are super powerful. Uh, Kiara, I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. I know your schedule is really busy, but before you go, will you take just a minute and tell everyone again how they can learn more about Wonder Bags, how they can donate, and how they can connect with you personally? Yeah, of course. Um, to get involved or to learn more about Wonder Bag, you can email me at kiara at wonderbag.org, and you can research more about the Wonder Bag um, at wonderbag.org. Fantastic. Well, uh, Kiara, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We wish you every success in your efforts to help improve the environment, prevent climate change, improve public health, ah, all the great things you're doing with Wonder Bags. Thank you for having me. All right, let's do some good. At Caring Crowd, we believe everyone has the power to make a difference. Through our crowdfunding platform for community health, we empower passionate people to drive real change. Whether you work for a nonprofit organization, volunteer, or want to get involved for the first time, you can post a campaign on Caring Crowd. Join us, because caring is where change begins. Thank you for listening. Devonthorpe's mission is to end extreme poverty, improve global health and mitigate climate change before 2045 by finding and sharing the stories of those who are doing the most good. You can join with other listeners to accelerate Devon's mission by visiting helpdevon.org right now.